Okay, this is the water meter. It's in the yard near the parkway sidewalk. And right here in the middle of this dial. Okay, that's a flow indicator. And, or some people call it cheater wheel or cheater paddle, call it what you will. But it's very sensitive. And if water's running, it's spinning. So that's supplyable potable water. So there's that. This is the valve for the municipality, the city. This doesn't belong to you. Parallel is on, perpendicular is off. Coming on along. This is the water pressure. We do not want to see over 80 PSI. We got about, you know, pretty close to 65 PSI, and that's good. Now we're supposed to let that sit for a little while, and for a little while we'll let it sit. While I'm right here, I'm just going to kind of go organically here. This is the gas meter on the north side of the front bedroom. Parallel is on, perpendicular is off. Electrical bonding. Okay, so we've got that looking good. This box, this is an irrigation box. This box appears as if it was for a main water shutoff valve and it's empty. It's, if there's a valve in there, it should be excavated and lined with gravel. These were on the north side of the front walkway. These are your main sewer cleanouts. You've got a double clean out here. That's not my cigarette. Double clean out for the sewer. Okay. Moving on along. Coming inside of here, we find that we do have a main water shutoff valve. Okay. Parallel is on. Perpendicular is off. I can't turn the water off. Can I turn the water off over here? I can turn the water. I just turned off all the water to the house. But I cannot isolate this valve. All right? Because of the position of the valve. Okay? So, if you wanted to service this, this is a flow indicator. Backflow indicator. It's a flow by modem. You can look that up. And they're electrically powered but we do not have an electric receptacle outlet. Oh, there's one right up there. How about that? Okay, well, it's not for me to turn it on or off, but that's where it plugs in. And that's fine, it's facing down. It's got a cover plate. Okay, saves me some writing. I just wish this valve would be able to close. It's probably why you don't plug it in, because I don't know. Maybe. Maybe I don't know what I'm talking about. But I'm going to see. I'm going to keep talking. Okay. This is the lawn sprinkler system. This is your. Okay. This tells you what your zone. Are we call them zones here, or stations? Okay. Different models call them zones. Different models call them stations. But what we do not have is a care and use manual. Another thing that I'm used to seeing with new construction. I don't know what it is. I can't find a green permit. I can't find a building permit anywhere. But they usually have them hanging on a bag over here. Another thing that would be nice to have, and this is not required, okay, is that it would be nice if these zones, I get it, that they're labeled, but it'd be nice if they had like a diagram so that you could see what they're talking about. So come on around here. I'm just covering it all. Coming around here, this is your weather sensor. And it's supposed to sit up just like it is. That's a good thing. For freezing and rain, so you don't water in the freeze, and you don't water in the rain and waste water. So what did we learn, really? We learned that we've got, well, let's go look at our water pressure, see how that holds up. But we learned that we've got a, a mysterious irrigation box we learned that our backflow prevention isolation handle cannot be operated 100%.
the mysterious box. Oh, I'm not through yet. And we learned that we still got about 65 PSI. Over here, chapter two. Interesting. Okay, just looking at stuff. This is the check valve for your lawn sprinkler system. Okay. Unlike that box over there, you'll notice that this has is, is, been excavated and lined with gravel. And these are the shutoff valves for your check valves. On and off. Okay. And this is the main shutoff valve. How about that for your sprinkler system? wonder why you can't operate it. Yeah, we'll just put you over here. Maybe it's a two-hand job. It's catching on the side of the box. It's catching on the side of the box. You can't operate it. So we got two valves that are positioned so that they cannot be operated properly. 